Hello everybody and welcome to like a kind of news update, kind of Q&A. This is, this is the video, the Minecraft Disney video of the day. Um, it's sort of a news update, but it's also a question, I guess. Uh, George Anthony 4 on Twitter asks, Hey Rob, can you do a video on what you feel about the Walt Disney Company keeping Bob Iger as CEO until 2018? That's right. Uh, last week, it was announced that Bob Iger is expanding his contract uh, to 2018. He was originally going to be leaving in middle of 2015, stepping down as CEO, uh, but they've expanded it. Uh, what do I think about it? It's a very interesting subject uh, because, you know, having grown up through the Eisner area, there was an instance where there was a CEO who came into the fold, saved Disney, uh, turned it into, I think, a great company. A lot of people like to give Eisner uh, flack, but I, I think he was more of a positive force for the Disney company than a negative one. But the problem is, at the end of the day, he sort of had too much control. His, you know, sort of second in command, Frank Wells, unfortunately passed away really early on. And he wasn't relinquishing control when it felt right to. And I think that started to lead to some bad decisions. So I guess the big question is, is that what's happening with Bob Iger? Is he overstaying his welcome? And it's hard to say that, right? Because at the end of Eisner's tenure, you know, Animal Kingdom wasn't what it was supposed to be. Uh, the movies were sort of in a slump. They were actually falling into a pretty bad relationship with Pixar, despite the fact that Pixar films were doing really well. Um, you had this sort of general economic downturn that happened after 9-11, and it just, things were falling apart. And here we have Iger, you know, the shareholders are thrilled that he's staying until 2018 because Disney, on the other hand, is doing really well now. They've got Star Wars, they've got Marvel. Uh, since Iger took over in 2005, uh, their return, I think, has been over 300% for uh, shareholders. So, I mean, they're happy. Um, I think it might be indicative that they just sort of weren't ready to, to replace Iger. You know, I think they, they are going to claim otherwise. Of course, they're going to say, no, that's not the case. But I think it's telling that Iger is uh, extending his, his stay for two years, but his package isn't being increased, his uh, compensation package. He's still making the same he was, which, by the way, is a lot of money. It's like $30 million. Uh, but the fact that they're not paying him more, I don't think that this is a move. And the fact that it's only two years, it doesn't seem like a move where they're going, well, you're doing great. We want to keep you. I think it's more like, well, you're not ready to, to swap out a new person yet. Can you hang around a little bit longer? That's my personal take. I don't know. I'm just, I'm on the outside looking in. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I believe the plan is next year or soon. They still want to name a COO, which is a chief operating officer. And I have the importance of that is the CEO, COO, is sort of going to be the unofficial second in command who will step up when he leaves. You know, it doesn't 100% mean that'll be the case, but, you know, uh, symbolically, whoever he would appoint as COO, you would expect to be the person to become CEO. And there are two people who are sort of the lead runners for that. And one of them is Jay Roslo. I'm sure I'm butchering his name as well. And he's the CFO, the chief financial officer. And the other person is Thomas Staggs, who's the president of the parks, who's the head of the parks. And, uh... You know, personally, on my my uh, opinion is I would love to see Tom Staggs put in the CEO o -O role, and I would love to see him eventually become CEO. I mean, I'm sure Jay's a great person, and I'm sure he would be good for the company. But as a CFO, your main focus is on financials, and that's great for a company. And I'm sure shareholders will want that because, you know, it's about the bottom line for them. But as a Disney fan and somebody who loves the parks... You want somebody who has a creative element to them, and, and I think you'd see more of that in uh, Tom Staggs than Jay. Uh, it's very important. What I would really hope is that it was both of them. To be 100% honest with you, I would be ecstatic if they both got put into a, like a sort of co-CEO role, because that's what made the Disney company work so well. You had Roy and you had Walt, and Walt was the creative mind, and Roy was the businessman. And then eventually... Things sort of took a dip when uh, they both passed away. But then you had Eisner and Wells, and Eisner was the creative man, and Wells was the businessman. And uh, that was really great. And you can attribute things like the Disney Renaissance and just the, the sort of refreshing of the parks to that sort of dynamic. 
then unfortunately Wells passed away and, and rather than finding a new person to take that mantle, uh, you had Eisner just sort of go it alone and that's when things sort of fell apart. Now, Iger, he's been doing a pretty good job, and uh, I think he's got a really good eye for talent. He's got a, got a good eye for, you know, who can work within the Disney talent, and their whole model has been about buying talent and uh, bringing them into the fold as opposed to developing it on their own, right? That's why they bought Marvel and Pixar and uh, Lucas and who, Maker Studios, all these acquisitions. Uh I don't want to see them continue doing that. Not that that's a bad thing. I, I can't wait to see what we keep seeing with Marvel and Star Wars and all these things. But I would love to see a new generation of trying to cultivate uh, creativity from within. And I think in order to do that, you need somebody who's a creative mind. And I think uh, just by the nature of how these parks have to be so immersive, I think it would be great to see Tom Stagg sort of in that role. But you also need a good business mind to sort of keep the business afloat because you can't do all these creative things without the money to do them. And so it'd be great to see um, Jay Razzolo sort of play a big part as well. So I'd hope to see them both take a role. Uh, I'm sure Bob Iger is listening to this. Bob, if you're listening, do it, do it. Get them both in the mix and, and bring back that era of two people, you know, the checks and balances system. That would be great. In the meantime, I'm excited to see what they continue to do with it. Uh, I think this will help with Star Wars in a big way because Bob Iger will be on board to see that fully transition and kick off. You know, if he was going to leave, he would have been leaving mid-2015, which would have been before the first Star Wars movie even came out. So now he'll be able to be involved with those a little bit more. Um, he'll be able to be involved with how the parks develop for that stuff. Uh, I really just hope we don't see it extend anymore because that's when I start to get nervous and wonder, well, maybe he's just holding on to this power longer than he really should be. Anyway, great question. Thanks for asking it. I want to know what you guys think. Bob Iger, another two years. Yes, good, bad, who knows? Maybe maybe you don't care at all. Who would you want to see in place of that? Would you want to see Tom Staggs or would you want to see Jay or maybe somebody else completely? Uh, it's always weird when it comes to companies because it's never who you initially think. Michael Eisner, for the, I mean, he was a movie producer. Who knew he would have been able to do theme parks and you know animation and all that other stuff? And, so it's, it's always uh, tricky. Anyway, thanks for joining me. If you have a question, feel free to leave uh, it on Twitter at Rob Plays in the comments below. Um, I'm on Facebook and Instagram at Rob Plays That Game. Uh, I want to thank everybody who's been following me around, my little Q&A crew. Uh, have a great week. Whatever you're doing, make the most of it because it makes it that much better. And I hope to see you next time for the next Disney World News Update Q&A slash Twitter question. I don't know what to call this one. Bye, everybody.